All right, good morning, everybody. I'm doing a little bit of a series to go over the video filters in Final Cut Pro X. I'm doing four at a time. And the next four are going to be aged paper, artifacts, aura, and background squares. And I'm using this little Papa John's clip to kind of show what they do. Let's grab aged paper and throw it in there. probably should just use a really small clip so I don't have to render the entire thing. Hay un gran pizzero. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let me cut it right there. Just use this part. Detrás de una gran pizza. So you can pretty much see what it does. Pizzero. It makes it look like it's being drawn on old paper. You can adjust the amount. And if you notice, there's like a little vignetting. So as it gets done, you'll see it go black around here, around the edges. All right, this is what it looks like. So it's got a little bit of a vignette around the edges. And that's the mask right here. So if I turn the amount all the way up and then I do the mask, what the mask does is shows how much of the actual video is being drawn on the paper. So the smaller the mask size, the less is being drawn on the paper. And the larger the mask size, obviously, it'll cover the whole screen. If we turn this amount down, you can see the mask make it disappear just like that. And by default, it's at 50. Or was it? Let's find out. I think actually by default it's at like 30. No, it says 50. Let's just act and goofy. All right, so that's aged paper. Let's go to artifacts. Artifacts actually has to do with light. Um, it puts little bokeh in there. It's kind of interesting. I like it. Okay, this is what it looks like. So you can see the, the little bokeh things over there on the right kind of flashing and coming in. You can change the color of them to any color you want, pretty much. Uh, you'll want to stay with light colors. As you do dark ones, they basically disappear. Let's render them and see if you can even see them. Detrás de una gran pizza, hay un gran pizza. Yeah, you can't even see them. So let's bring the color back up. I like this kind of yellowish. Actually, let's go with a bluish. Just for fun. You can also use the color chooser to pick a color that's in your composition here. Detrás de una gran pizza, hay un gran pizzero. Okay, you can position them on the right or the left of the screen. And you can choose different blend modes um, depending on how you want it to look. There's certain ones I don't recommend. Soft light you'll barely ever be able to see. Hard light is rather interesting. Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. Reminds me of Christmas. You can darken or multiply, although darken really and multiply, I really don't see that they would give you a good benefit. You have add and screen, all these different modes that you can use. You can change the opacity to 100% or down to zero. And if you did 100% at normal, you would see that it's just that. <laughs> Remember, you can change the colors. So let's take it and put it back at screen. And the opacity was 50. Oh, also there's a blur. You can remove the blur or you can add to it. Uh, let's go back to normal here. And you can see what the blur is doing. Okay. 
And if we were to leave this as screen at 100% opacity with all that blur, it would look like this. Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. Okay, so that's artifacts. Then you have Aura. This is a glow filter. Um, it kind of, it's a little strange. You can see what it's doing. It's kind of like a find edges sort of filter. You have an inner radius, an outer radius, brightness and opacity. And if I do my inner radius up higher, you can see it kind of glows. It does a fine edges type of look. And then you have the outer radius. Now let's see if you can see the difference. See how the edge here has, it goes from red and it's got this little line over here. Now if we do the inner radius, you'll see it kind of go in the other direction. Now your brightness, it's also darkness. Your brightness goes from 50 to 100 and your darkness goes from 50 to 0. And then of course you have your opacity. You can make a really wild glow. Let's just do the outer radius and then you can turn your opacity down to just kind of compensate, although I don't recommend it. Okay, like let's this. just do this just for goofiness. And this is what it looks like. De una gran pizza, oh, that makes that pizza look horrible. Pizzero. All right, let's get rid of that. And next one is background squares. This one's kind of fun. It divides the image up into little pieces and kind of moves them around randomly. You have your layout. You have boxes, horizontal stripes, or vertical stripes. And you can increase the speed and make a move a lot and increase the amount of movement. And you can also blur the entire image. Let's show you what the default looks like. Well, actually, let me change this to boxes so you can see the default. Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. Detrás de una gran pizza. Now the purpose of this would be to put a background, use it as a background for something, and put something over the front of it. That's why you have the blur option, because the blur option will actually simulate a uh, depth of field with a background. So your foreground would be something like this. And you might crop it a little bit. 50. Now let's do 100. 150. Okay. And you see how that does that? It sort of gives me a, a background depth of field. It makes this look like it's a background. And that's what it's for. Now keep in mind, I'm showing you these filters. Um, you have to have a purpose for a filter. You don't just use it because you want to use a filter. There has to be a reason for everything that you do. Uh, in this case, it is a background. It's not something that you would want to use on your main video because it will be really weird and annoying. Let's bring the speed way up and bring the amount way up, but just for kicks. And let's do vertical stripes. And watch what it does.
Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. It looks pretty goofy. Detrás. Okay. But it's hard to distinguish what the image is. Now you can see a pizza. Before it was like, well, what is that? So you have to have a purpose in order to use these. Okay, that was the aged paper, the artifacts, the aura, and the background squares filter. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. And next one, I will go with uh, bad TV. Well, this one I'm going to ignore. So bad TV, black and white, bleach, bypass, and bloom. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for watching.